All right. So super exciting times. A little backstory for those who don't know and or for those watching on YouTube, seeing us for the first time. Earlier this year, I was talking to a friend of mine about how growing up, I really loved opening Pokemon cards. I used to go into town every Saturday and I would buy four booster packs. And I did that every Saturday for, God, I want to say at least a few years, probably two years, all through grades four through six, give or take. Like I grew up with Pokemon red and blue, gold and silver. Like I was, I was like the height of the, the Pokemon fandom when it was all getting started. And I stopped collecting them. Uh, I think when I was 13 going into grade seven, I kind of got out of them. And uh, I was just telling them that I, I used to really love opening them. So for my birthday, uh, about a week and a half ago, he sent me a giant box that has multiple of these uh, Pokeballs in it. They each have three booster packs in it. We have nine of those plus There, there are two. He forced two in here, but we got uh, one of these Ultra Beast GX sets all together. There was 47 booster packs ah. between everything. So what I decided to do just to make it an even 50, I went out and bought seven more packs myself. So we got these three sword and shield ones here, plus these tins that I... If I recall, yeah, they each have two Pokemon booster packs in them. So what we're going to do is we're going to open all of these right now, see what kind of booster packs we have, and then we will go through them all. If you don't want to watch me open all of these and just get right to the card openings themselves, and you're watching this on YouTube, I'll post a timestamp in the description down below so you can skip right to the good stuff. But guys, so for the... Hmm, what's going to be the best? One? Oh, there's the thing here. <laughs> and already I'm getting scolded in the comments because I just took scissors. I didn't even need them. Whoops. Whoops. All right. First time in 20 years. This is so exciting. You have big balls. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you get evolution pack, then I want to save them. If you want for investing a booster box of evolution goes for about 500 US right now. Evolutions is the, uh, like the reprints of the originals, right? I should have got a bet. Whatever. Too late now. We'll have a collection on the floor. All right. So let's move these over. I'm assuming you just, oh, the music stopped. There we go. So how's this open? I thought this would be like a button, like in the show, but... Does it just twist off? Oh, God. Oh. Ah! Okay, there we go. I opened it. Nailed it. First try. Easy. All right, so first three that we got here. All right, we have a Sun and Moon pack. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. And prime, X and Y Primal Kalash. They're a little out of focus there, but. Let's see what we got. Oh, I don't need those scissors. Having trouble with your balls there? Just not used to handling with so, uh, so aggressively. Oh my God. Oh wait, is there a coin in there too? I thought I just heard a coin. I may have... Oh, I did, I missed something. Oh, we got a... Oh, so a thing about me here. Let me hold that there so you guys can see it. A thing about me, like I said, I grew up with blue and red, gold and silver. I picked up Pokemon again for X and Y, and then I played Sword and Shield. But what I discovered between Gold and Silver and X and Y, 
about 5,000 new Pokemon came out in the meantime. So more than likely, I am going to pronounce them wrong and or not going to know who they are, but I'll do my best. Oh, this one opened easily. Oh, I like that one. All right. For round two, we got another Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. We got a Primal Kalash again and another Sun and Moon. All right. Oh, and this is the exact same. This is the exact same coin. So we got two of these. Uh, I did not get into Pokemon. Are the cards used in a game? Yeah, you can play an actual game with them. There's like attack values and energy cards and all that. And all right, number three here. We just said we got nine of these balls here. Volcanion. Ah, uh, the focus is being weird. There you go. All right, I learned the secret apparently because these ones are all opening way more easier. All right, we got Sun and Moon Burning Shadows again. <gasps> Yo, an Evolutions Pack! Hell yeah. So these are re if I'm re if I recall correctly, these are reprints, but these are the ones that I grew up with. So I am insanely, even if it's just this one pack that we get, I am insanely excited to open that one. We'll be saving any evolutions for the end here. Uh, I'm, I'll try and keep all the packs on camera. I'm just with very minimal space here. So it might be a little difficult as we get more and more here. And who is this? I feel like these are all the same. It's the same guy again. So Maybe I'll just give those away to people. For our, the giveaway we're doing in the subathon in December, maybe I'll just slip them in. All right, so this is uh, set number two, just to show you guys they are sealed. That one was not sealed only because you'll see with the, um, the other box we got here, they trolled me and individually wrapped each of these Pokeballs in like Christmas wrapping. You'll see in the box, we have a bunch of booster packs that are wrapped in princess wrapping. So even though you can see through the box, we don't know what is actually in there. Oh my God, this is stuck. There we go. You know, for the sake of time, let do that. And then we'll open this one at the same time. Move these over. As you can see, another sealed one. $420 for a three for a full 36 booster pack. Uh, evolutions must be out of print, are they? There we go. I feel like when the cards go to print, that's when they go crazy high. Like you see people buying, like spend like 10,000, 100,000, whatever, like crazy thousand amounts of dollars for like a single booster box because uh, they're no longer in print. All right, let's get this one open. Gen 1 Pokemon card reprints. Yeah, for the evolutions. I am very excited to open that. There's a holographic Charizard in there. I already have a holographic Charizard from years ago. I never threw out my old cards. I was hoping to have them here uh, in case I ever did this. But with the, the pandemic, my uh, mother, who was going to bring them this summer, couldn't travel, obviously. And then... Uh, I didn't want to send them in the mail in case something risked happening to them. So right now they're sitting safely back home, just all the way across the country. All right. So for this one, we have, I think we're going to get a lot of sun and moon, which ironically is one of the games I did not play. So we're really, you're really going to have to help me out with the, 
some of these sun and moon pokemon sun and moon burning show yo another evolutions pack hell yeah and then sun and moon all right all right all right and plot twist incoming this coin again what's the name of this pokemon by the way hoondor thank you for the follow welcome yo brad good to see you sorry if i'm missing anybody coming in friends i'm trying to keep the conversation like general i probably should have put the twitch chat on the stream or on the video so those watching on youtube could see it this is my first time i'm gonna make mistakes we'll, we'll learn we'll learn Oh, I shouldn't have put, oh well, whatever. I mean, condition hollow Charizard is worth like five figures or dollars. Mine probably isn't mint condition because it's been sitting in a binder for over 20 years and been moved from place to place. But like, it's not like ripped or anything, or at least last time I saw it, it wasn't ripped. All right. What do we got here? Plot twist, sun and moon. Yep. Spam that cheer to make a shiny appear. Chat, look at all these evolution packs we're getting. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Three of them. Should I put the Twitch chat on the video? It might take up too much feed if I do that. And then surprising boom if i do another one of these in the future hopefully i'll be able to do 1080p 60 frames a second with my phone right now we're on 720p uh, and i think it's like between 30 and 40 on my streaming pc i just threw in an old graphics card that i had lying around so right in there now is a gtx 680 which is over a decade old 1080p was not a thing back then i'm updating my gaming pc in the next few weeks so it once that happens, I'll be able to move my GTX 1080 over to it. But in the meantime, we're stuck. We're stuck in the past. All right. All right. I'm I'm getting more and more excited the more packs we're getting here. Um, and Bird Lady B, thank you for the follow. Welcome. If you guys end up enjoying this, I'll try and do more of these in the future as fun as this is unfortunately it's not something i could afford to do like every week hell even every month but every once in a while if you guys enjoy this we'll do more of these because i'm i haven't even opened a pack yet and i'm already having a stupid amount of fun all right can we get generation or sorry evolutions number four can we get evolutions number four sun and moon burning shit Mm, yeah sun and moon so that's in this pile here okay m night Shyamalan directed this pokemon opening i can tell how many are you going to get we oh, i don't know we have 50 packs total but can i put the uh is it a browser source here i kind of want twitch chat to be on here let's see behave chat what are these pokeball things called um i believe the uh technical term for them is pokeballs i could be wrong though okay let's put you i think if i put you there should be okay, right? The packs are coming to... Oh! So, this is the package here that has the three of them in it. Uh, I don't think there's, like, an official name. Why is everyone saying sheesh? I, if you're new to the channel, I have a sarcastic sense of humor. Don't take me seriously. I have a very silly, sarcastic sense of humor. 
Uh, but yeah, in terms of an actual name, I'm not 100% sure. All right. You probably can't even read chat anyway in the video because it's so bright. I say sheesh, let's go. Oh, okay. I thought everyone was going sheesh. What a jerk. And I was like, no, I promise. I'm just kidding around. <laughs> A first edition Hollow Charizard has gone for 55000 on eBay. That could buy us a couple cards or two. All right. Arr. Jerk. <laughs> All right. Open this one. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. So, Sun and Moon again. Sun and Moon burning shit. Was that five now? One, two, three, four, five. Five evolutions so far. And we got two more of the Pokeballs left to open, and then we'll get into the ultra rare Beast GX. Um, you smart, thank you for the follow. Tentacruel, thank you for the follow. Broken Demon Bunny, gifting the four month resub to Mighty Bison. Welcome back for four months, Demon Bunny. Thank you for that gifted sub. Very kind. Very, very kind. Thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, first edition Shadowless uh, box boost sells for over 90K. 90K. As fun as that sounds, friends, I would love to be in a position to spend 90K on a booster box. Thought those sounds were disabled. Hmm. You sneaky sneak castle. Castle, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Spam this cheer to make a shiny appear. Chat, once we get into the actual card opening, I'm going to need your spam to make those shinies appear. I, one I tried to look for, foolishly, I already knew what was going to happen before I even asked for it when I went to the store. I was looking for the hidden fates. I'm like, do you have any hidden fates in stock? And the guy just kind of laughed at me like I was a silly, innocent man who didn't know better. He's like, those are long out of print. You'll never find those. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, never mind. What up, Energized? Castle, thank you for the 1,500 bits, man. All right. Oh, I forgot to get the coins out of those. They're probably all the same. All right. So we got Sun and Moon again. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows and Primal Clash. I have a feeling these came out when Sun and Moon was big. I'm just going to go out on a limb and guess. Sun and Moon was very popular when these Pokeballs came out. So where are the coins that I missed? Ah! I caught it. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Christ averted. It's fine. It's safe. We're good. Don't worry about it. It's fine. How do I take all the coins? Okay. Thomas said it was the same coin every Pokeball. The evidence suggests yes. No, all the cards were out. It's fine. Nothing, nothing was damaged in the making of this video. Some are showing up in Walmart Target now for Hidden Fates, but all the scalpers are grabbing them up for resale for profit. New Hidden Fates are expected around. Oh, they're re-releasing Hidden Fates again in January because Hidden Fates have a shiny Mewtwo in them. And for those who don't know, a Mewtwo... Since I was a kid, was my favorite Pokemon. And not because he was OP as hell in blue and red. I just always liked him. I always thought he had a very interesting backstory. So for me to get a shiny Mewtwo and like Hidden Fates would be like top tier for me. All right. This is the last Pokeball. And then we will open the Ultra Beast GX. Those will be all the ones that BWC sent us. And then we'll open the Tin Cans before diving in i guess i should do i know i'll keep those aside for now just in case all right last pokeball and we have another sun and sun and moon evolutions and sun and uh oh i confused those 
burning shadows and sun and moons so total from all the pokeballs we got i wish the i should move the camera up a little more should i something like that is that better no i made it worse chat i made it worse i made it worse There we go. All right, so we got one, two. This one feels heavy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sun and moons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine burning shadows three primal clashes x and y and then i think it was five one two three four five six six evolutions all from the pokeballs themselves plus the m night Shyamalan coin boom okay Do you get a nice smell when you open the balls? Depends on the soap, I guess. All right, so these are the ones. Uh, hmm. I was watching a video, or I was watching someone open them today. And I guess there's like a thing where if the cards go off camera, people think you they were tampered. I have no idea how that would be a thing. So I'll try to keep them somewhat in frame, but I need to move them because this box is going to take up a lot of space. Let's see if I like leave the corners like boom and then maybe like turn these so you can technically see them all. Uh, let's just take this box out. This will be easier. I'm working in a very tight space here. So, oh, you guys can't see it yet. Ah! All that work and then just moved the camera so they're no longer in frame. It's not only that, but most people pull... Yeah, I know to pull four from the back. Although it's confusing because some packs are like, you pull three... So I'll probably end up doing some of them wrong at some point. All right, let's start off here. Ah, how do I get these out? So our very first card, uh, Celestila GX. I I'm as when it's these cards that like come with every pack obviously they're probably not extremely rare but i mean it looks cool they didn't have like the gx and all that when i uh collected these 20 years ago so every single one of these cards even the commons are going to be completely brand new to me and then there's also pharomosa gx which I think is the evolved form of Mimosa. I'm assuming. And oh, we get another co a card or coin thing. Oh, it popped out. We have a new coin. Uh, there you go. Pretty eyes on this one. I could go for a mimosa right now as well. And then, so here's, see what I mean? This is what I was talking about. Look, they individually wrapped the booster pack, so I don't know what they are. Mimosa is a UB. You and your magic words acting like I know what a UB is. All right. So we'll put all those there. Oh, I, I seen the pros do this. Look, I'm a pro. 
There's your online thing. Go to town. Nailed it. Oh, this is for when you have those rough Saturday nights. Uh, this is a large Sunday morning mimosa. Or it's like, you know, back in the, I don't know if they still have them today, but back in like the, the nineties on the rotary phones for like the older people who couldn't see. So like the buttons would be like this big opposed to the standard like this. Maybe this is for them. Inclusive. I respect it. I respect that. Oh, we got another one here. Uh, Brett, thank you for 38 months. How are you, my friend? Welcome back. Thank you for 38 months. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Buzz, well, I'll fix the camera again. I'll put it back at its original angle once we get this everything open and ready to go. Jet Punch. He, who does he remind me of? Buzzwool. Uh, Absorption GX. This tax is 40 damage for each of your remaining prize cards. When we would play the... we So we played them wrong as a kid. So, like, we wouldn't use, like, the energy cards and all that. We kind of took, like, the Pokemon Game Boy game rules where everyone just took a turn attacking. But since I had a holographic Charizard, I think it's Flamethrower did either 100 or 120 damage, something along those lines. So I would just spam Flamethrower and win. Kind of like you would do with the Elite Four and Pokemon Blue. Just bring your Charizard, OP, destroy them, done. GG easy. All right, and more of the princess cards. Oh, I got a coin. Oh my God, it's another, it's another surprise one. Oh, there's this, there's tape on it. There we go. There we go. Am I holding that upside down? Uh, I actually can't tell. There we go. All right, let me get this out of the way and I'll be able to put the camera back at its original angle. All right, let's put this back. Um... There we go. Keep everything in there. All right, let's just let's just dive into them, shall we? First one that we are unwrapping is I'm, I'm gonna guess Sun and Moon. Oh my God, how much tape is on this? Oh, Steam Siege. Uh, X and Y. That's a new one. Okay, put that there. Uh, look at this kitty cat wrapping. Hopefully, maybe I'll actually invest in a better stand too. Cause technically right now I'm just using uh, a selfie stick that I was going to use for vlogging right before the pandemic started. So that kind of screwed that over. Uh, but it has like tripod stands on it. So that's what I'm using, but it doesn't necessarily give the best angles for this sort of stuff. All right, pack number two is... Do, 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 do. Oh my God, I can't get into it. What is it? <gasps> yes! Chat, 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 chat. Yo! More evolutions. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hell yes. Man, we're getting all the evolutions of all the ones I wanted. I'm getting those the most... Or not the most, but you know what I mean. And we got uh, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. That's a new one. Okay. Like I said earlier, the fun thing about this for like me, even though these card packs like Sun and Moon are probably... I don't remember. When, I don't know when Sun and Moon came out. Like I said, I wasn't playing Pokemon at that time. But um, like what? Five years ago? Six years ago? No, it would be longer than that because I was playing X and Y when I still lived in Nova Scotia. So... What, 10 years ago? Sun and Moon? So even though these cards might be 10 years old, they're still going to be brand new to me. Our Evolutions Pack OG Pokemon? I believe so. They're supposed to be like reprints of the, the ones I collected as kids. So I'm assuming they're the OG. 
Um, this one is Sun and Moon. Okay, it's just regular though, right? Wait, Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon. Okay, put that there. Sun and Moon came out three years ago. That doesn't sound right. That does not sound right. Uh, sun, moon. I'm typing on my keyboard upside down and sideways. Sun, moon, Pokemon came out in, wait, 2016. What am I thinking of? Am I thinking of like, What am I thinking of? I'm clearly confusing it with something else. Black and white, maybe? Why are you typing wrong? Because I need to move my keyboard out of the way for the Pokemon cards. The sun and moon came out a long time ago. <laughs> True. True. I wonder what I'm thinking of then. Clearly I'm confusing it with something else. I just don't know what. Four years ago on the 18th. All right. Well, don't trust my Pokemon knowledge then. Ask me about the original 151 and I got you. Uh, Burning Shadows again. Put that there. Uh, was Ruby? I bought Alpha Sapphire after X and Y came out because I really enjoyed it and kind of wanted to get back into it and it was on sale. But then I got distracted and like I only did like a couple of gyms. I should get back into it. It's really because now I want to try and catch a, a shiny Mewtwo in the, um, hell yes. Yes. Oh my God. I'm, we're, I'm so excited to open those. Um, what was I saying? I think of the Neo series, that one series. Kiana, you in the chat. Okay, how do I open this? There we go. Uh, Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. Where did I have those? Wait, is this a new one? Did I not have Crimson Invasion before? Oh, maybe I'm crazy. Never mind. So many packs. Uh, we got... Fates Collide. I think that's a new one as well. Yep. Steam Siege, Primal, and Fates Collide. Okay. Sweet. God knows what I'm thinking of. God only knows. All right. Uh, Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. Great. I'm having so much fun and I haven't even opened a single pack. All right. This one is Crimson Invasion again. Yep, thought so. I'm starting to recognize them. So I have what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five more of these to open. Then we got the two tins. Oh, there's so much paper. This is Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. So many varieties. Lugia. Oh, I loved Lugia. When, when I played gold and my friend played silver, um, we swapped. He had my hoe and I took his Lugia so it would grow faster. Lugia was so cool. I don't know why I always like Lugia over hoe. I just didn't. Is this a Crimson Invasion? Crimson Invasion. Becoming like a Pokemon master. Oh my God. Oh my God. Crimson Invasion. Burning Shadows. Where's that pile? Right there. 
what was i thinking with sun and moon it had to have been like black and white or ruby sapphire or something for some reason i thought sun and moon was on like the old ds ones clearly i don't know what i'm talking about uh xy steam siege yeah there's so many varieties and the last one from the guardian beast gx is what it was called oh wait there's whoa hello oh it's the the smaller buzzwall from the uh the blind version okay and then wait what's this zurich a tree like circuitry I get it I see what they did there I'm picking up what you're putting down game freak well played oh there's your oh it's upside down once you hit the 30 mark everything blends together true accurate and true so far you haven't gotten anything released in the last two years but isn't that in a way good because now we're going to get to maybe open some cards that people haven't seen in a while and fates collide uh so these are three that i bought so we have some actual sword, sword and shield ones to do i picked those up so those are all the ones that bwc sent me so now i'm gonna open these two tins which are supposed to have two pokemon booster packs each and then we'll get into the actual openings. You can get a rainbow rare Pikachu in vivid voltage. I think that's what I was watching today. Someone was opening a vintage voltage. He got like his very first pack that he opened was a rainbow something. All right, so first 10 we got <laughs> plot twist sudden <sun> moon <laughs> who saw that coming uh oh i think we were using him i forget the name but we someone was using this guy in the mewtwo raid we were doing yesterday uh so we got sun and moon oh and then we got darkness ablaze cool where's the sun and moon pile boom red sonic the hedgehog yeah that's the one so we got darkness of blade which i believe is one of the newer ones not the newest i think vivid voltage is the newest but and then uh, a galarian rapidash card neato i'm gonna put these loose cards in here so they don't get lost i'm gonna put those in there uh move that there so put my darkness of blaze over there last one and then we get into the openings any good polls yet fidget we haven't started the polls yet we're just getting everything opened so we can go right into them this is the last one though all right Evolutions are hidden fate. Let's go. Sun and moon plot twist. Same coin as before. So uh, another sun and moon pack. And the darkness ablaze sword and shield. So we'll save those ones. I think for later evolutions will be the absolute last one we do. But we'll go through all these sun and moon ones first and then we'll get into the darkness of blaze and sword and shield before finishing off with evolutions i can't fit them all on screen because i just don't have enough space for it so if i get accused of tampering or whatever i guess it is what it is i wouldn't know how to do that like i said but it's whatever uh okay which one should we do chat Pokemon cards are no laughing matter. People get injured. I'm bleeding. Well, I'm not bleeding, but apparently opening plastic is super effective against human skin. You tampering jerk, you know me. 
I totally know how to do that. Uh, so there's a Primal Clash, Siege. We got Crimson Invasion here. I'm gonna have to make some space. So let's let's organize these a little bit. Burning Shadows over here. Let's do the base set for Sun and Moon first, since we have so many of them. Open with Winter Gloves. Uh, Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion over there. Fates collide here. And then we have two of the Guardian Rising. Great. Great. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to go wash my hands. And then we will dive into the opening. So just give me one sec, friends. Open them randomly so you keep chatting their toes. No, I'm going to do it in series because I want to save the evolutions for the end. All right, so I bought these as well. Little um, protection sleeves in case chat freaks out and lets me know. Yo, what up, Humphrey? That we uh, pulled something uber awesome here. So I'll, I'll judge based on chat's reactions. All right, here we go. First... Pokemon pack opening in 20 years right now. Uh, is there a proper way to open these so you don't like rip the cards or whatever? Maybe I should bring those scissors back. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here is the online code. So let's see if I do this right. I believe it's supposed to be one, two, three, four to the front. If I did it right, I believe an energy card should be first and the rare should be the very last card. All right. So, if you watch a lot of Pokemon videos, they tend to go through these pretty quickly. Since I haven't seen these cards in a long time, I'm going to take my time with them and probably try to admire the art on them and whatnot. However, as we get duplicates, I will speed through them a little quicker. So, we have a green energy, a polywirl. I can feel... <laughs> I know it's just a polywhirl, but I can feel the nostalgia coming back as soon as I saw it. Oh my god. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, a dragon air, which we got last night. Oh, I love the art on these. Oh, is my camera keeping up? Hell down. Is that in focus? Should I try and focus this up a bit? Hold, hold on. Uh, hopefully the camera doesn't die here. Hold on. Hold on. The camera's being weird. I want to get the focus going a little bit better here. Uh, I think that's better. Yeah, it's a bit better. Yeah, a little bit more in focus. At least the artwork. There we go. It's a little bit better. All right, so Dragonair, Golbat. 
my god, I love the art on these. These are so cool. Makuhita. Remember when I told you I was going to pronounce things wrong? If I recall correctly, it means no worries for the rest of your days. We can see the last card you have in the stack. Oh, did I mess something up? Oh, sorry. Get anything good? This is the first pack. Cutie fly for a white guy. Drowsy. I feel like in the old generate or like the OG like base set, you used to get like five drowsies every pack. I feel like I used to have 30 of those. Uh, a Rowlet. Torkoal. He seems angry. That's an angry turtle. We can't see the names. Oh, is that better? Brock, I'm well. How are you? Uh, I think it's called a reverse hollow Pokeball. Sorry, like, keep calling me out if I have it off frame. Because like I said, I had to put the camera at a really weird angle. So keep telling me if I have things wrong. So the reverse hollow Pokeball. Whoa! What is it? A... Lurantis GX? That is a shiny card. A flower supply attached. Two basic energy cards from your discard pile. Your Pokemon Solar Blade heal 30 damage. Whoa. I, I It seems really shiny. So I'm just going to put it in one of these sleeves. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, I have like a hundred sleeves here, so let's go ahead. Uh, oh my God, stay open. I'll get better at this as we go. Damn. What's that one valued at? This is the first Pokemon pack I've opened in 20 years and you think I know the values off by heart? I don't know. I'm just here to have a good time. There we go. I wish the camera was like more in focus. The screen keeps dimming, so it's like it's taking me a while to like fix them. What's the happy medium here? I think that's the happy medium right down there. All right, cool. Oh my God, that was only one pack. 49 to go. Uh, Sun and moon. Let me put... Where can I move the extra safely? I need more space forever. So our reverse hollows. What number is at the bottom of the shiny? Oh, uh, 138. Out of, you can't see it because it's not in focus. 138 out of 149. Is that the number you were asking for, Lily Streams? Hopefully that was right. Okay. Chat, your spam worked. We got a shiny GX right on the first pack. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five. 
fire energy pokeball we already have a reverse hollow pokeball i don't need that uh polipper as you were he's a courier and he flies repel your opponent's versus their active pokemon with one of their benched pokemon he wrecked rowlet again young goose Torkoal again. See, we're already getting duplicates, so I can speed up a little bit. That shiny is worth $3 US. That's at least 500,000 Canadian. So, like, uh, I'm retiring after the stream. Uh, not sure you know, but that gain code card you just pulled is white. So, normally that means you'll have a better card pull in that back than if it's. Wait, are you talking about this? I feel like everyone I've seen is white, unless you're talking about something different. Uh, a Litten, which I actually know, I believe. Other side. Oh. Oh, they were both green. Interesting. Uh, Stufel. Oh, a reverse hollow pinzer. I get excited when I recognize them. I'm like, I know this one. Roof Fling. I don't think they said that out loud when they came up with that. And guillotine. And the rare is a team skull grunt. They are gangster. Your opponent reveals their hand, discard two energy cards from it. Interesting. It's a trainer support card. We'll put that in a sleeve as well. Check the number. Okay, so obviously this is a stupid question because everyone in chat seems to know the significance of this, but I don't. What's the significance? Oh, it says 149 out of 149. What's the significance of the number though? Oh, I know it probably means like there are 149 cards in the set, but like, is there any other point or value to it? What's the best way to do this? without because I don't want to get it all full of fingerprints and whatnot just how many in this okay that's what I thought ah if you get a higher number on the set then it's a secret rare oh so like 150 out of 149 you mean yeah and good first two packs um maybe I should start to go against what I said maybe I should clear the packs out of the way and make room for the good cards that we find that they can kind of linger there does that make more sense like leave those let me I'm trying to get the stand out of the shot there and now put that there So the first number is higher than the second number. It's a secret rare. Okay. Yeah. Like when you watch other videos, like on YouTube, like the pros do this every day, they probably would have gone through like 35 packs at this point. Meanwhile, I'm on pack three, but whatever. We're here for a good time, right? Oh, it's another green one. Let's see if your witchcraft rule is accurate, Stony. I don't know anything about this either. I'm glad we got so many pros here. Uh, Castle, I see your water redemption. Remind me after I open this. One, two, three, four. Fire energy. Uh, Dar Tricks. I don't think I know that one. Doesn't sound familiar. Great Ball, classic. Hugh Kamnuka. Obviously. Obviously. Wait, he has an ability. And this Pokemon is your active Pokemon is knocked out by a damage from an opponent's attack. Put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. 
Oh, we encountered this yesterday. Dup Dupiter. It's an evolution to Rowlet. Oh. Polywag. Oh my god, is that like a knitted thing there? Where's the there it is. There's the focus. That's cool. That's really cool artwork. Paris, I know. Old school Paris. Chin Chow? Or, yeah. Is that a... Is this a Sun and Moon one? Kirby's Epic Yarn? I can see that. Uh, Alohan Ratata. That's cool art. I like the moon in the background. That's really cool. Spam this cheer to make a shiny appear. Reverse Hollow Grand Bull. I also I think that's from Pokemon Gold. Gen 2. Yeah, I was right. I thought it looked familiar. And then the rare is a gold duck non-holographic. Neat, neat, neat. So is it is it worth putting one of these cards in a sleeve? Or is like when it's a generic non-holographic rare, is it just kind of like whatever? I I'm assuming the value is way less. I like these reverse hollow cards though. Those are cool. I like those. Just burn it. Put every card in the sleeve. All right. I get on board with that. Good old. Uh, that is green. The others were. Oh, so like if it's all this green, it's a rarer. And then this is like, I get you. Okay. Okay. Hey, doing moon. What up, Kami? Ah. Uh, put him here. All right, let's keep the show going. I'm getting better at opening these already. Spam this hiney to unwrap a shiny. Oh, go all green. All green chat. So boom, there is your online code. Such a pro. One, two, three, four. He knows what green means. <gasps> Fighting energy. Do I have to lower the lights? Is that the issue? Forgive the technical problems with this video. Like I said, this is my first time, so I'm not surprised I'm running into glaring. Well, not like issues, but things that could be better. All green is bad? Wait, no. What? All green is bad? Damn it. <laughs> I don't even want to open this pack anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Potion. Uh, Tora Cat. That's cool. I got to get better at this. Tora Cat. Poison Barb. That just sounds mean. You want the white cards. Oh, I had it backwards. Dratini. Sandy Gast. Wait, is this like the pre-evolved form of that sandcastle I caught yesterday? I forget its name, but I mean, it, it seems to have the same principle. Or is this the sandcastle? More lol. I like this one just for the names. Lol, 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 lol. Uh, Fomantis. Sounds like a, I mean, I know it's not Scyther, but it sounds like a praying mantis kind of thing. Uh, Surskit. Okay. 
a reverse hollow stout land hammer in yo this guy sounds like a beast he just seems chill but like ready to go i like him and uh a primarina i actually recognize this one i don't know what generation it is but i do recognize it He evolves to Studland. Hmm. Ah. Here we go. I'm putting sleeves on the rare ones, but I'll just put like the cool shiny ones we get. I'll leave those on the the camera here. I need like an assistant. Damn it. There you go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> all right uh psychic energy ah pins are we i think we had a reverse hollow one from him earlier how pass me in i recognize fling that's offensive fling on a pokemon or a, a monkey type pokemon that's offensive. Rowlet. Uh, Cosmog. Must be a ghost, is it? Uh, Lily Pup. Well, that's just a precious face. How can you say no to those eyes looking up at you? Don't be a Roly Coley. <laughs> Green outdated. Normal cards overrated. Long have we journeyed. Now we shiny. That was a good rhyme. Uh, Wingle, Snubble, Reverse Hollow Golbat. That's cool. And Cineroar. Darkest Lariat. Flip two coins. The attack does 100 damage for each head. Holy! I don't know a lot about their Pokemon attack values, but that sounds dangerous. we go let me just throw these online ones on the floor so I don't confuse them I, I bought one binder but I think I'm gonna need a bigger binder uh sun and moon how many packs do I have now five six not many Maybe because this video is probably going to be long. Maybe I should mm, put timestamps for each of the sets so people can get to the ones they want to because this is probably going to be like a three hour video. No one wants to watch a three hour video on YouTube. Neither do I. I don't blame you. Uh, Open. Sesame. Go through all of them when you're done. See if you can match up the evolutions correctly. I would fail. Need to buy three more, probably. I watched their videos on YouTube. Really? I feel like the average times are like at the average uh, attention span for the average YouTuber is like 10 minutes. I'm catching on chat. Two, three, four. Boom! Water energy. I'm I'm gonna invest in more stuff next time I do this, if I do this again. So we can have a better setup. Uh is that Brioni? I'm assuming that's the Are are these guys friends? I get the feeling these guys are friends. 40 and 41 out of 149. I feel like they're friends. 
card unboxing is on your i mean true that's that's very true that's very true is this a, literally a donut is this a jelly filled donut this is a jelly filled donut i knew they were running out of ideas but this is literally a donut Oh, it's this guy again. I'm, I already butchered the name once, so I'm not going to try and say it again. Uh, Sandy Gas is back. More lol, 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 lol. Fromantis we saw earlier. Surskit we saw earlier. Growlithe. Cute little Growlithe. Jelly Jones are a timeless MD. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. A reverse hollow Dartrix. Oh, I love the shiny look of the cards. It's so cool. And oh, a stout. Didn't we get him earlier? Yeah, we got a a reverse hollow Stoutland. Are these rare? Are these considered rare? How do you? The stars are rare, right? Yeah. Okay. um i'm gonna do this i'm gonna put the reverse hollow of that rare in this and i'll put, leave the regular one out i feel like i'm doing this wrong in the comments section people are gonna be like you put fingerprints all over that sleeve protector and i'm like i'm sorry i wasn't trying to jelly donuts are gross i think you're gross hey you like me now so we're going to get to that point in probably about a half hour to an hour where the sun is going to start coming through and it's going to mess up the chroma and there's nothing I can really do about it. For those who have never seen my Twitch streams, my apartment is very small and the only place I could set up my studio was in front of my balcony door. So when the sun is setting, since I have a west facing view, the sun likes to come right in and mess up. How did I do the other one so well? And this one's like, like a, this is like a raid boss here that I'm drastically under leveled for. Hold on, strats, strats. Damn it. Now that I know the witchcraft about this, Foiled again by booster pack raid bosses. Should have went Digimon. All right, green energy. Jelly Donut is back. Oh, let me put this back in here. Is the light too bright? Is that why you're getting so much reflection off the card? Is that the issue? Yeah. Uh, Hugh again, a switch. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Oh, okay. Cutie Fly for a white guy. Drowsy. Rowlet. Torkoal. Zoo. Did we have the Zubat already? No, we had a Golbat. Reverse Hollow Snubble. And we just had you! Rawr! Can't get a reflection if it's not shiny. I mean, true. That's true. Okay, clearly we've leveled up since the last raid boss, and now it's just too easy. Three and four. Uh, fairy energy, I'm going to assume. Just because I don't recognize it. Uh, Polipper. Timer ball. Flip two coins for each head. Search your deck for an evolution Pokemon. Reveal it and pull it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Okay. Pinsir. Zubat. 
Poplio? I probably said that wrong. Uh, Stufel, Wingle, Dratini, Reverse Hollow, Zubat, and a Parasect! Why did my music stop? Hello? Thanks. Uh, Mushroom Drain and Fury Cutter. I like them. I like them. I like them. Oh, I said I was going to put the rare in here, right? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. It's like threading the needle. Ah! Oh my god. Stop judging me, YouTube! <sighs> Guys, I watched this five hour Pokemon card opening video on YouTube. Five hours? How many packs did he open? Only two, but it took him four and a half hours to get the pack on the protective sleeve. I miss the olden days? The olden days of what? The days of yore? Twitch chat is judging you too? I'm used to that though. That doesn't bother me. I would expect nothing less. Mm -hmm. One, two, and three, and four. Lightning energy. Oh, that's a cool looking card. Krokorok. That's just a cool design, I feel. Man, this guy's popular. He double colorless energy. Provides double energy, okay. Marini? Oh, she looks so sad. Poor little bugger. Hmm. Alorian Diglett. Diglett, Diglett, Diglett. Trio, trio, trio. Jupiter, again. Uh, Alolan Meowth. Growlithe, again. Oh, a reverse hollow Dratini and... Incineroar again. Yeah, we already have him one of those in a sleeve. I'm talking about the olden days when we believed that green cards were the best. I miss those days. I was so ignorant. So young. Did you just say a lord? No, I said a, a low. The knife? Or is it? It's a, a Lolan, isn't it? Am I saying it wrong? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I was pretty open about that. that I'm probably going to butcher some names. Oh, chat. It's white and green. White and green pot champ. Yo, yo. Spam this cheer to make a shiny appear. <laughs> You said Alorian first. Oh, did I, Kevin? Oh, my bad. I was just thinking of DeLoreans. You know how I be. Just thinking of the past. Um, Is this a normal type energy card? I had to think about that for a second. I was like, wait, what's this? What's white? I think that's normal energy. Uh, Double colorless energy. Corsola. Oh, that's steel. Oh, my bad. Ultra Ball. I like the artwork is so cool. Stufel again. Pop. Pop is back. Zubat. Shelter. Good old Shelter, my friend. Um, Young Goose. Oh, that's a cool Hypno card. Reverse Hollow Hypno. I like that. That's neat. That is a neat card. And dun da da da. Professor, is it Kukai? Kuki? 
Ah, man, I butchered another pronunciation. Draw two cards during this turn. Your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage. Oh, damn. Spam this 148 out of 149. Yep. Yeah. Burn it? Trash. Kukui is what it's supposed to be. Professor Kukui. Okay. Well, we'll put him in a thing. I, it, I feel like I'm extremely focused right now, but inside I'm giddy like a kid on Christmas morning. Like this is serious business, but he, 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 I'm having fun. Oh uh, yeah. That's a considered a full art card. Yes. I believe green. Well, don't need these. We still have to get those evolutions. A boom, boom, boom for you online gamers. Or psychic energy. Well, look who it is. You look familiar. I feel like I've threatened you before. Energy switch. Hmm. It, uh, so <laughs> I'm. It's like if I have it at this angle, I can see it better. But it looks worse on stream. Or when it's better for you guys, I have to like, like tilt my head so I can see it. My setup is 10 out of 10 for today. Gilbad, Jupiter, Marini, Stufel, Toga Demaru. That's a mouthful. This must be an electric. Yeah. Alolan Grimer. I remember good old Grimer. Oh my God, he's got like a yellow beard now. Or he was into some very yellow starburst. One of the two. Oh, reverse hollow Krokorok. We had that earlier. Was it reverse hollow? I don't remember. There's been a lot of cards already. And uh a Harry Yama. Megaton slap push. That just sounds mean. This is the song. That when it came on yesterday, I thought it was take my breath away. I was glad it wasn't because I didn't want to get copyright struck. But do you hear it? You kind of hear what I'm talking about? No? Okay. Well, it's just me then. All right. Whatever. I'll just leave. It's only like a couple notes. It's not all of the song. Just a couple notes. Uh, oh, this is the last Sun and Moon one. Well, Sun and Moon base set. You can't hear the music? Oh my god. I asked earlier if it was a good volume and you guys said yes. And now you're telling me an hour and 41 minutes into this recording you can't hear the music? Oh my god. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I intentionally had it low, so it's just like faint background noise. If there's any young and up and coming streamers watching this on YouTube, don't listen to your chat. They don't know shit. Four. Did you get a shiny Mewtwo last night? I did not. I did not. <laughs> All right. Psychic energy. Welcome back, Joe. A rare candy. Ooh. Pinzer. I'm not going to edit music in. It's whatever. Some people, will, some people will hear it. Some people won't. If you can hear the music in this video, guess what? You have great headphones. Congratulations. If not, hmm, well... Train harder. Uh, Jupiter, Marini, Stufel, 
Togodemaru, Grimer, Reverse Hollow, Repel, and Crabominimal. Crabominimal. That's a mouthful. No, definitely hit recording. I mean, if I missed hitting recording, it wasn't a big deal. I could have just downloaded the VOD. Just helps save a step. Ah. There we go. I'm getting more MLG gooder. All right. So I would like to keep these separate somehow. Here's what I'll do. Strats chat. I'm going to put them in the Pokeballs. So I can keep the sets separated. Um, can I fit them all in here? Do you think? Let's see. I have the rares separated. Don't worry. I'm not grouping them all in with the, uh, the common cards. There we go. All right. We're clearing up some space here. Oh, wait, wait, what did I ignore? That Grimer was shiny. Wait. Oh no. What Grimer? I, yo, oh, I just put them all in this. What? Oh, oh God. Now I got to find it. Oh man. oh man. What do you mean? Oh God. Hold on. I need to find it so I can show the video. Which Grimer was it? Because I pulled two Grimers. Was there... Was one regular and one was shiny? I just didn't realize. Squishing the edges of the card? No, I'm I'm being careful. Don't worry. Mr. Yellow Lips? Oh, there was a couple of those. Yeah, I found like two of those, I believe. Hold on, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Which is so unfortunate because it was right at the top a second ago. Gold bet. No. No. There. This guy? This is the shiny Grimer. It didn't sparkle when I pulled it out, so I didn't know. What if you put the package they came in there too? So you remember, I have um, a website that will tell me what cards are from what collection. So I can quickly figure it out. Not shiny. So there's a different one. Oh, brother. Oh, God, I don't know where it is. Okay, so those are both the same. Then I think we only pulled the two Grimers. So did you guys just lie to me again? I don't, I don't, I think I only pulled the two Grimers, didn't I? So remember three minutes ago when I said Twitch chat knows nothing. Hmm. Shallow and pedantic. Okay. Sun and moon collection. Put this. Where can I put this where it's safe? Okay. Oh. We'll edit this part out. 
of the video so it's not five minutes of nothing. Leave it in. This is gold. All right. So we got three worthy cards from that first uh, pull there. There we go. Should I dampen the light a bit more? Sorry, it's so reflective. Like I said, I'm, I'm working with what I got here in terms of lighting. It's probably going to get worse over the next hour. Now Twitch chat is arguing if it was a shiny or not. Meanwhile, I've already moved on. So maybe so. Okay. For the experts, what is the newest set be, or the Crimson Invasion Guardians Rising? And I feel like I should do Crimson Invasion next because I have four of those two of the guardians and then i have more of the burning shadows so maybe i should do these four first I'll put those over there all right let's do crimson invasion uh ten, i'm hoping these are all four to the front by the way Oh, <gasps> no, chat, it's white and green. Spam that cheer to make a shiny appear. One, two, three, four. Want to make sure it's lined up. Uh, lightning energy, uh, a cell gore. Oh, that's cool. It's oh. cool art. The art is so, this is so nice on a lot of these diggers B. Oh, that's the, uh, the bunny, right? I think so. Oh yeah. There it is. He's right there. All right. All right. A counter catcher. That looks like a weapon from Ratchet and Clank. Shellos. You use whatever emotes you got, Kevin. Oh, um, Gaming Boy. Thank you for the follow. I missed that 15 minutes ago. A Weedle. Execute. These ones I know. Pumpkaboo. Swablu. Reverse Hollow Gladion. Look at your face down prize cards and put one of them into your hand, then shuffle this Gladion into the remaining prize cards and put them back face down. If you don't play this getting from your hand, it does nothing. Wait, if you don't play a card, it does nothing? What a concept. And do 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 doom. Ooh, a holographic. Is it Regice? That looks familiar. I'm not going to pretend like I know the Pokemon, but he definitely seems familiar. If you have Regirock and play, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's stage two Pokemon. 28 out of 111. Legendary. Let's get him in a case. Boom. These are rare from Emerald. I don't think I played Emerald. Pretty sure I didn't. Burn it. Ah. They're all legendary Pokemon. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I saw an opening. Go for it. There we go.
There is your online code. One, two, three, and four. Uh, fire energy. S Staravia. Interesting. Grumpig. Uh, my wheel. Carablast. This guy looks happy to be there. Skidoo. Chimeco. Miss Drevis. I see what they did there. Stufel again. Uh, reverse Hollow Zuelius. That's a cool card. I like that one. And a Camerupt. Let me guess. He's a camel who's about to erupt. Respect. I respect, Game Freak. Uh, Regis the Legendary Giant. Regis, Regirock, Registeel, Regigigas. And they added Regileggy and Regidraco in Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion. Would you say they're regulating them? I love bad jokes, by the way. I'm fully aware of the jokes that I make. And I'm the only one that enjoys them, and that's okay. For those watching going, this guy. I'm fully aware. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Yo! It's time. It's time. All right. Uh, wait, double energy card? Hello? Aren't you only supposed to get one? I want a refund, please. Hello? Okay, water. Am I on camera? Am, am, am I? Hello? <laughs> okay. Four energy cars. All right. All right. Shelmet. Stuvel. Uh, Cacnea. Like cactus? Okay, okay. Star you classic. Ghastly. Reverse hollow spoink. Spoink? Yeah. Spoink. And yo, we got another holographic uh regice. We got two of them. This was a weird pack. I'll give you 1,000 for the rare quad energy pack. 1,000 US final boss and sold. Sold. Final boss, 41 months. What up, my man? Thank you and welcome. Welcome back. How are you, sir? Oh my God. Even though it's a duplicate, I'll still sleeve it. I hope I don't run out of energy cards anytime soon. So you're starting to see the chroma effect that I was talking about. That is because of the sun. It's just the way it's going to be for about the next, I'll say 45 minutes. It'll start to get worse and then it'll slowly start to fix itself. I've been dealing with this problem since June 1st of 2019. Nothing I can do about it. Why don't you put up uh, some light blocking curtains fidget what an excellent idea i can't believe no one suggested that before final boss is doing fantastic man i'm having way more fun than i should be i'm having like a stupid amount of fun with this right now ah there we go
How rare are the error packs? I, I, I have no idea. All right, here is your code of lad. Why don't you just turn off the sun? Chat with the strats. Strats. Psychic energy. Wow, only one energy card? What a ripoff. Uh, Gastrodon. He looks like he's bullying that poor little thing. Devoured field. Sounds delightful. Fighting memory. Mistrevious again. Alolan Geodude. This is like, um... Oh my god. He's the, uh... Oh my god, what's his name? Eugene Levy of Pokemon. Look at those eyebrows. If Eugene Levy was a Pokemon, he'd be Alolan Ge uh, Geodude. Guaranteed. Pikachu. Look at that precious little Pikachu face. Skidoo. Starly. Reverse Hollow Cacturn. That's a cool Pokemon. I like him. I like this card too. And Altaria. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right. That was the Crimson Invasion set. I probably don't have to sleeve some of these rares, but oh well. All right, we got two of the Sun and Moon Guardian Rising, so we'll do those, and then we'll get to the Burning Shadows. Before moving on to the X and Y sets we got here. Oh, uh. Let's do... It. ...a thing... we go sorry just trying to get these organized all right let's get that sealed up try this backwards i do genius ASMR rapper crinkle, please. We'll do that as a bonus stream. After we get all the cards, I'll just sit here and crinkle all the wrapper for a couple hours for you guys, and you can fall asleep to it. All right, Sun and Moon Guardian Rising. We got two of these. Big thank you to uh, BWC as well, like once again for sending all these. I'm having way too much fun with them. Chat, chat, chat. Spam this cheer to make a shiny appear. To make a shiny appear. All right. There's your code. Two, three, and four. You know very well after this stream, I'm going to do something very irresponsible and probably have like a booster box of something within the week. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Green energy. Marini. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, this is a new set, right? So I should actually look at these for a second. Um, Buying some cards. I shouldn't, Stony. I shouldn't be. But I'm having too much fun. Uh, Marini, Fletchinder, Sableye. The eyes on Sableye always like freaked me out. Uh, Nose Pass. I feel like there's a Gandalf joke here that I'm just going to leave alone. Wishy Washy. Wishy Washy. 
slow poke. You shall nose pass to fall. Silent. Oh, that's a cool card. Uh, here we go. Oh, I like the art on that one. Reverse hollow Alolan Graveler. Wait, is Alolan Graveler an electric Pokemon? Whoa. That's a switch. And a holographic. Is it Delmese? Ooh. I like, I like. Attack this one. Boom. Move this over here. Del me. Del my. Oh, it's pronounced de demise. Oh. I mean, that makes sense. Just the H threw me off, I guess. Right, there is your brrm. code one, two, three, four. I have these upside down. Water energy, beware. Also, cool art. Lampent. The Fable, Rock Rough, Saladant again, Murkrow, I remember him, them I should say, I guess, Snowrunt, Pass Rat, that I don't know, looks like he ran away from Chuck E. Cheese, a Reverse Hollow Tentacool, and Ray... I know this Pokemon. I'm just going to say it wrong. Rayquaza. Ray Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Ray. Everyone hates Ray. It's Ray. We're just going to call him Ray. But I know this Pokemon. If that was a holographic, that would have been awesome. We're still going to... We're still going to protect him. Ray Rayquaza. 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 All right. Protect him. All right. Now, how many Sun and Moons do we have? Was it, did I say nine earlier? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I opened a couple extra ones, right? All right. So, eleven Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Is the trio leader of the weather trio and is it ruby and sapphire that generation yeah we're just gonna call him raymond yes okay how you know if it's a reverse hollow because instead of the artwork being shiny the card itself is shiny versus like this where the artwork is shiny and the card is normal just give me one sec here friends oh there's a coin stuck up there Catching ah Ray Quaza with a Pokeball was my biggest Pokemon achievement. I feel like maybe just because I used to like get all the Pokemon in red and blue and then immediately delete my save file and start over. It used to just become like a normal challenge for me to do like Mewtwo with a like an Ultra Ball or a Great Ball or a Pokeball or whatever. And then of course one of my playthroughs just because I had to I had to do it. I did the missing no glitch 
and had like 99 master balls because I was 11 years old and had played the game 15 trillion times at that point. So what the hell ever? With that being said, there better be a missing no card in here. Otherwise, I'm burning all of these. Did you do the glitch to get a Mew? I must have at one point because when I found my Pokemon Blue game like years later, and when I say years, I mean like years later, I just randomly found it like in a box and booted up to see what was on it. And there was a Mew in my party, but I never had a game shark or anything. So I don't know how I got it. I must have did the glitch. No idea too long ago game i had a game shark for my nintendo 64 i had a game shark pro if there's a difference i don't know if the game shark pro was just compatible with more games or whatnot but that's what i had all right that was your code boom burning or sun and moon burning shadows for the front uh what did i say fairy energy escape rope gloom ace rolla dust skull oh that's cool i have i have the ancient mew promo card as well it's all in my collection back home i was i need to if i get them I don't know when I'm going to get them because of the pandemic now, but whenever I do, I'll make like a video or a stream about it. Oddish. Uh, Tynamo. I'm assuming like Tyranimo. Mudbray. He's so happy. Stufal. Kiwi, Kiwi. A reverse hollow of this guy. And. Meow stick. Hmm. I don't know that one. I do not know that one. There we go. That's a good Pokemon in the game. What generation is it from? Uh, doesn't seem like a very strong card unless I'm just being stupid. Oh, this attack does 10 damage for each card in your hand. So it's a card you want to use early. I got gotcha. you. Gen six. Here we go. Spam that cheer to make a shiny appear. One, two, three, and four. Psychic energy. Lana. Electabuzz. I like that card. Uh, Simipore. Ralts. I think it's a psychic. Yeah, it's a psychic Pokemon. Rhyhorn. Hoot hoot. Meryl. Oh, another one of those like yarn type ones. I like that design. I think that's cool. Uh, Porygon from the band episode. Reverse Hollow Venipede. And what's the big one going to be? What's the big one going to be? Oh. Oh my. A Tapu Fini GX. I don't know what that is, but I like how the car looks because it looks pretty f***ing cool.
God damn, where's my thing? Swigs with 20 months of subs. One of the four guardians in Sun and Moon is a legendary. Well, we just got, we're going to protect this little friend. Um, and four people asked for the number 39 out of 147. Boom. Hey, where's this little guy from? Get you over here. Hell yeah, friends. Organize these a little bit. <laughs> Swiggity's booty. Thank you and welcome back for 20 months. How are you today? What are the codes for? I think there's like an online version that you can do. Like you can collect like online cards. I think that's what the codes are for. I'm not being funny. I can't blame them with the names. They sound made up nowadays. You see some Pokemon with the shield poking names. Oh my God. I was very upfront at the beginning of this video. I was like, I haven't, I don't know a lot of these Pokemon. So like I was very upfront that I was either not going to know them or I was going to mess up their names. Or in more, most cases, both. All right. We got boom. Um, Nikki Michelle 94. Thank you for the follow. When you get to 500 names, I was the, the some of them are going to be silly. I was literally thinking last night after we stopped playing Pokemon um, Sword, I was like, man, despite the jokes that I make in all seriousness, I would not want to be the person responsible for coming up with new Pokemon after there's what? Almost 900 of them. It'd be so tough. Um... Is this ice? No. I actually don't know what energy card this is. Ice? Uh, the Rotom Dex? That's dark? I thought... Oh. Oh, I guess. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. I, I was looking at, like, the bluish tint of it, but yeah. Okay, fair. Uh, Rotom Dex? Escape rope, which we already had. Sophocles. Tynamo. Kraballer. Reminds me of Cabal from Mortal Kombat. Inke. Lady Ba. Lady Ba, excuse me. Caterpie. Oh, uh, this guy again. Koei, Koei, Koei. I'm saying it wrong. I know. I'm sorry. And a uh, Alolan Radicate. Look how puffed up those cheeks are. All right, put these over here. Let's move some of like the non holographic ones over here just to clear up some space a little bit there we go just to make these ones seem more special all right here is your code one two three and four Water energy, escape rope again. Boofland, Boofaland, excuse me. Is that, um, is it evolved or form of a, was it Taurus? The Pokemon you would get in the Safari zone? Or is it just coincidentally another bowl like Pokemon? No, just a coincidence, okay. Electric. Alolan Grimer, Sh not shiny. Sneasel, I know. Grubrawler again. Meowth, I know. Just chilling and walking along. Respect. 
Stufel. Reverse Hollow, Alolan Vulpix. And Electros. Uh, hey, is this um where was it? Yeah, boom, look at that. We got the same ones. Or let's but the evolved, you know what I mean. The evolved form, the same package. A regular Electros. Over here. Uh get a little sleeve sleeve. Ah. I feel like unless you get like one of the super uber duber rare cards, most people probably just collect these opposed to selling. Yeah. I understand if people get like a $10,000 card, but like for these run of the mill, like non holographic rares and stuff, I can't imagine they're worth a whole lot. Spam that cheer. He stole my nut. Oh, Ravens. There is your online code. One, two, three, and four. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Steel energy. Um, Sviper. Oh, that's cool. I like that card. Rotom Dex, Escape Robe, Sandy Gas, Venipede, Sneasel, Alolan Vulpix again, Cute Little Horsey, a Reverse Hollow Curlia, Oh, that was close. And Yo! A Gardevoir G. X, look at that card. Oh, I was close. Oh man, oh man, that gets a protective sleeve. Uh, since they're out of focus, I'll bring all the good cards back in when we're done at the very end. Try and focus them up a little bit. One of these days I'll have like a, well, I mean, I do have a DSLR camera, but I can't use it with my computer. One of these days we'll have full fledged technology. Boom. That is a nice card. We'll put that right here. Gardevoir. Oh, Gardevoir, Gardevoir. Bam that cheer. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I got all the evolutions of that one. Boom. So yeah, like I said, after we're all set and done, guys, let me know either in Twitch chat or on the YouTube comments later. Let me know if you are interested in seeing uh, me do more of these. Like I said, it's not something I could do often, but I'm having a lot of fun. So if I can find a way to swing it, I will happily do more of these in the future. Uh, water energy, Rotom Dex, Super Scoop Up, Electabuzz, Oddish, uh, Duskull, Esper, more lol. Char Why are you so sad? Wait, is it raining? It's raining on the Charmander. You can't rain on a char you better yo I, I I like this card, but I'm mad at it at the same time. Charmander should never be sad. This this is uh, this is unacceptable. Cover that tail. Oh, BWC who sent me these cards is a massive Lucario fan. And this is a reverse hollow uh Riolu. Ryalu? Riolu? I know it's the pre-evolved form of uh, Lucario. I just don't know how to say the name, obviously. And a holographic Dusk Noir. That's a cool looking card too. I like it. 
he's only worth a lot in the first edition 2002 sets i have a first edition holographic charizard taylor so ha 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 it has survived all these years when um so side note slash sad story all my stuff was when i moved to toronto seven years ago now i live in i don't live in toronto anymore um i left a bunch of my stuff that i couldn't take with me in my mother's storage locker so like 30 gamecube games like 30 ps2 games a lot of my books like all the old like harry potter books a lot of my childhood toys my pokemon cards and all that were left in the storage locker but back home in nova scotia one winter they notoriously have bad winters but this was like an absurdly absurdly abnormal bad winter like blizzard after blizzard after blizzard after blizzard after blizzard the storage locker couldn't handle the temperatures so everything molded over and got ruined so like over 60 of my games destroyed all my books and everything destroyed somehow i think it was the protective sleeves and the binder even though all my old pokemon cards were in that same storage locker they were the only thing that survived I, again, I think it was the the um, the binder sleeves that protected them. But like even like the discs, like the GameCube discs and stuff were all like warped and everything. That's how bad it was. All right. Uh, there is your code one two three and four it was the power of the pokemon uh fighting energy dust clops po town porygon 2 dust skull again esper more lol we're getting lots of repeats okay don't stop sh showing me that sad charmander i'm not a fan of it i like the art but i just want them to be sad porygon uh reverse hollow electros and uh beware he's so happy like i don't feel like i should beware him i just want to give him a hug it was nintendo looking out for your pokemon cards Nintendo always looking out. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Uh, bubble boom. Uh, pro player, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Spam that cheer. uh beware will hug you and pop your back hey i could actually use that i'm okay with that three and four uh water energy super scoop up i don't know why but that just reminded me of the suck it from the office uh flameria Cedra, Magikarp, Mudbray, Alolan Radata, Panpour, Caterpie, Reverse Hollow Dusk Noir. He's got a holographic one of him. And do -do -do -doom, a Mar Shadow GX full art card man we're getting some cool pool uh pulls from these that's a mythic explain this to me like i'm five what's the number uh 137 out of 147. you have this card pro player so do i that's a cool card Mythics are event-only Pokemon. 
Well, it's only available during events. Well, I mean, first Pokemon card opening in 20 years. I'd consider this an event. So that's legit. That's fair. Marshadow is worth monies. Like, should I retire tomorrow? Or should I just go out and buy like 10 booster boxes? Spam that cheer to make a shiny appear. After PSA 10. So I, I, I asked this question out of ignorance, but I know the PSA is like people send in their cards to get them rated from like one to 10 based on the condition and all that. How are people not afraid to like just send a card in through the mail someone gets it and they go oh my god this is a psa 10. oh your card never arrived we lost it whoops what happened again i asked that out of ignorance because obviously it's a very trusted thing that's been around for years but that's like the first thing i thought of when i heard people did that if i had like a first like super ultra rare Hidden Fates, shiny Charizard, I'd be walking into the PSA office and not taking my eyes off it. And they have to sign for it. But couldn't they just like swap it then? Again, I'm I'm coming up with like the worst case scenarios I know. Which is where my mind goes. All right, uh, Fire Energy. That uh, Mars Shadow is worth a doll 141 US dollars. We were re rich guys, high fives. I'm not really getting these for money. I just like to collect them because I think they're pretty cool. Happens quite a bit in the jewelry business. Does not surprise me. What up, Metamorph? Ah, uh, Cedra. Char... Oh, look at that Charmeleon. Where's the focus? There it is. That's a cool Charmeleon card. Charizard incoming. Whirlipede. Pan Sage, Croagunk, Pikachu, Pan Poor, Cutie Fly. I won't make the joke for the third time. Reverse Hollow, Crabominable, and dun 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 dun. Oh my God! A full art. Uh, Darkrai GX. Oh my god, look at these cards we're getting today. Hell yeah. What's the number? Uh, 139 out of 147. That's a cool card. I'm so excited to like actually take time and look at the burn it <laughs> trash <laughs> chat loses its mind GTA burn it it's trash maybe take that luck to the den for the well I was saying earlier Alpine I think I need to go through my Pokemon sword game on my next couple of days off so tomorrow and Tuesday and try and catch the 203 Pokemon I need because I feel like I'm not going to get that shiny Mewtwo without the shiny charm otherwise we'll be here all year Got my Pokedex done yesterday. I'm a little ways off. Just a little bit. Um, bu bu boom. Here's your code. Or we just trade you all the Pokemon you need. I need 203 of them. So it'd be a lot. I think I, ha I have all the... I think when we were playing Sword and Shield when it came out last year, I think Vlad traded me Vlad or Tomo traded me the shield exclusive I think so I should be able to get them all uh fairy energy I believe Mount Lanakilla uh, a wiki escape rope a, a dust skull 
Oddish, uh, Tynamo, Mudbray, Stufel. Oh, Lycanroc, Reverse Halt. This is the one from the raid yesterday that was like whipping all the ass. Lycanroc, Reverse Hollow. I like that card. And, um, oh, this was the mushroom I was accidentally playing as yesterday. Uh, Shin Shinotic. Like shiitake? I get it. I see what you did there. Oh my god, there's so many Pokemon cards everywhere. If I miss any exclusives, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I have some errands and stuff I have to do as usual my days off, but that'll probably be one of my goals. Oh, uh, put that here. All right, this is the last sun and moon burning shadows before we move on to the X and Y series. All right, there's your code. One, two, three, and four. Boom. Uh, Psychic Energy, Po Town, Rimma B. Uh, oh, I, I pronounced this wrong last time. Curlia. I probably pronounced it wrong again. I probably said the exact same thing. Oddish, Sock. Like Sockem, Sockem Boppers, or whatever those are called, Rockem Sockem Boppers, Porygon, Caterpie, Panpour, uh, Lichen Rock, Wait, is this the same Pokemon? Yep. Is one shiny and one not? Because they're different colors. Chat, guide me here. I know you guys know. Daytime and nighttime version. There we go. Okay. And uh, a rare butter. Wait a minute. Is this like ba supposed to be based on the episode when Ash gives away Butterfree and he's flying away? Is that what this is? Are you trying to make me cry? Like, Pokemon, can you not? You already made me cry once as a kid when Butterfree was gone. You made me cry again when you when you jebated us with Pikachu leaving, and now you're bringing back up old painful memories, rubbing salt in the wound? I thought this was supposed to be a happy stream. Vibe, 41 months, what up, dude? Welcome into the Pokemon. The Pokemon stream, you're just in time. We're about to get to, well, not getting to the evolutions yet, but. Thank you and welcome back for 41 months, dude. How are you, sir? Hadouken! All right, uh, let me get another Pokeball here. And store these all in here. Guys, I'm gonna need a bigger binder. Did you get Exodia yet? Uh, my guess vibe is going to be no, based on the fact that I don't know what that is. So, there's that. What generation is Exodia from? The round is when Rockruff balls at midnight, the round is the normal evolution, then at noon he turns orange. -ish. Okay. You don't know Exodia, the Forbidden One? I don't. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? Oh, I have never watched a single second of Yu-Gi-Oh in my life. So that would be why the reference went completely over my head. I get jokes. All right. Ah, I don't want them to get bent. I just want them to be protected. Perfect.
There's so much garbage on the floor. Okay. So what do we got here? Let's move these up a bit for a second. We got two Steam Siege, two Fates Collide, and three Primal Clashes. So I guess we'll just... Ah, sure. Uh, Steam Siege. So did something spur this recent Pokemon movement? I was just randomly picked back up on Twitch. Seems to be huge again. Well, I the reason I have these is because I was talking about it earlier this year uh, to a friend of mine, and then he sent me all of these for my birthday to open on stream. Uh, if there was a giant increase in them, I wouldn't be surprised if it was because of the pandemic. People are locked in their home for months at a time, so may as well collect some Pokemon cards and stuff, right? Those are probably why the prices have skyrocketed on them. People were telling me earlier there's sets that go for like 500 bucks now. The Crown Tundra release. That too. The, the, the game DLC. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Oh, 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 uh-oh. Wait, are these... Are these different? Is, should I have done this three? Is this one of the three? There's random sets that are three instead of four. Is this one of them? I don't know what to do anymore. Uh-oh. Well, whatever happens, happens. Like a kid watching you do this? Isn't it so fun though, Metamorph? Uh, if the rare shows up early, it shows up. I don't know what's going on with these. I might these might be three versions. I got all the the eight Pikachu's. Yeah, I got those. Uh, okay, captivating Pokey Puff, a Flaffy, uh, a Steelix Spirit Link, the Nose Pass, Litly. Oh my God, aren't you just precious? Uh, do you know? Pop it. Uh, Litwick. Uh, re wait. A reverse hollow Nido King, and then a Koba Lion. They're both rares. So I think these are three sets. So I'll have to remember that. Uh, I'm going to put both of these in a, in a sleeve because I like them. Legendary Koba Lion. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I think I showed that card, but just in case I didn't, I think that's a repeat. Turn the lights up a little bit. No, that's too bright. So this is where the, the battle with the sun starts happening. Did you acquire a Gengar? I did not. Although funny story about a Gengar. So my original collection from like the base set, I had a holographic Gengar. And then one day when my cousin was visiting, he was looking at my cards when I wasn't around. And when after they left, I started looking through my cards and my holographic Gengar was missing. My mother called her brother, because it was his son, and asked him and he denied it saying, nope, I didn't take it. I didn't take it. I didn't take it. About uh, six years ago, we went on a trip to Montreal. So this would have been back in like 1999, 2000. So then in 2000 and 15, I went to Montreal with them and it somehow randomly came up. And after all those years, 
he finally admitted that he stole my holographic Gengar. I knew it the entire time, but he wouldn't admit it. Uh, one, two, three. Let's see if I did that right. Armor, armor, fossil, shield on. Bravery. Cool. Nuz leave. Oh, that's a cool little art. Do you take his punishment or his fingers a punishment to fit the crime? I wear them around my neck as a reminder every day. Ponyta. Clink. Mantine. Joltik. Bergmite. Uh, I did it wrong, but hello? What is this? Wait. Wait, what? Th these packs confuse me. Because this is the rare. The Jump Bluff. But this one looks way cooler. Talonflame. These are special cards. Like, I feel like I'm probably supposed to be more excited about this one, but I'm excited about this one. The number is 21 out of 114. Well, uh, I'm, uh, What's a break card? I hope the evolution ones are four so I don't screw those ones up too. I don't know if this is like rare or not, but it's a cool looking card. So we're going to put it there. That's a card broken up into two halves. Uh, retain the attack abilities. We discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. Oh, uh -huh. that's a cool looking card though. Uh, okay. I need another, actually, I'm able to, since that was only two sets, I can probably put, I just can probably do this. Zacky Quack, how are you? Let's put these ones in here. Perfect. Oh, I, I sleeved it. Don't worry. It's in a sleeve. You're good. All right. So now we got two packs of Fates Collide. Yo! Spam that shiny. There's your code. All right. Uh, one, two, and three. Please be right. Uh, uh, I think we're good. I think. Uh, power memory. Audino Spirit Link. Wiggly Tough. I get excited when it's ones I recognize. Uh, Diglett. Snivy. Coughing. Larvitar. I know all of these. Vullaby. Uh, Reverse Hollow Meowth. That's a cool little Meowth card. Ty and a holographic Tyranitar. I used Tyranitar in um, Pokemon. I think it was Pokemon Gold. And then I also used them in Sword and Shield, now that I think about it. Or was it X and Y? One of the two. I've used this Pokemon a few times. Oh, I like that pack. Holographic Tyranitar. Let's go. New Pubitar? Oh yeah, we got two of the three there, didn't we? Yo, Butcher, how you doing? All 
All right, this is the last of the X and Y fates collide. There's your code. One, two, and three. Uh, Whimsicott, Braxin, Double Colorless Energy, Spoink, Coughing, Volibee, Ryalu, uh, Cottony, Reverse Hollow Sol Solosis, and Lugia. Too bad it's not holographic, but it's a Lugia. I like Lugia. That's a cool Lugia card, too. Damn. Had you done disappointments last week? Got wisdom teeth pulled last Thursday. Ugh, they couldn't do it all at once. Brutal. That's brutal. All right. I know it's not holographic, but I'm going to sleeve it anyway because I like Lugia. Ah, ah. Uh, boom. Give me more of these. So many cards. So many cards. Uh, okay. So now we got three of the primal clash and then we got two sword or sorry, three sword and shield, two sword and shield, darkness of blaze and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight evolutions. The grand finale. I'm excited for those. I'm excited. So I'm going to take a guess and assume primal clash is three as well. And then I think sword and shield is back to four. It's a shiny. There's your code. Let's hope I do this right. One, two, three. Moment of truth. Did I do it right? I think so. Electrike. That's a cool card. Trainer teammates. Sorry the uh, about the box. It's just the lighting getting messed up. Uh, Lombre. Feel on edge hippopotas electric feebas reverse hollow star you and a diggers bee. He looks so proud of himself, so proud. All right, you over here. Burn it. That last one wasn't a... We had the, the white and green, but it wasn't holographic. Let's see if maybe it's different with this set, because this is another one. There's your code. Uh... One, two, three. Silent Lab. Uh, Grudon Spirit Link. Nidorina. Nose Pass. Uh, Spinda. Horsey. Skitty. Tangela. Reverse Hollow Diggersby, the one we just got, and whoa, a holographic Kingdra. I, I think that counts as a full art card. Have you pulled any cards to make you a Canadian millionaire yet? I don't know if I'm a Canadian millionaire, but I pulled some cards that made chat kind of freak out. That's a cool card. That one's getting sleeved. All right, all right. Boom. 
put that over there canadian hundred air we're getting there we're getting there what's with you and the obsession with the numbers it's 108 over 160. All right, let's see if we get a shiny one here. Spam that shiny chat. We need it. This is the last one of the uh, X and Y Primal Clash. We need them. We need them. There's your code. One, two, three. Boom. Experience share. Uh, the barrel. I probably said that wrong, but. Uh, Gruden Spirit Link again. A Trico, a Vulpix, Rhyhorn. We used to get that a lot in base set. Volbeat, Sfeel, Reverse Hollow, Linone, or Lino One, probably Linone, I'm going to assume. And then, boom, 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 a, a uh, Wish Cash. Not holographic, but it looks like it's a full art card, maybe? Nice card, though. I like the art on that. Whiskash. I like it. I like it. I like it. Burn it. Burn it. I'll just burn it. That's a good idea, chat. Just burn it. All right. Let's put these away. Thank God we had all these Pokeballs. They're coming in handy. Here we go. Boom. All right. Uh, I say we do the sword and shield ones first, just because I know Darkness of Blaze are newer. So these three Darkness of Blaze plus, or sorry, three sword and shield plus the Darkness of Blaze. Yeah. I'll assume these ones are back to fours. Hopefully. You actually burned all your Pokemon cards. You are awful. All right, there is your sword and shield code. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. Uh, fighting energy. Raboot. Sudo woodoo. <laughs> Hi. Gross. Ponyta. Cottony. Score bunny. Silly Cobra. Yamper. Blip, a uh, reverse hollow blip bug and a pulte geist. See what they did there. If there was any card to burn, it's this one. Hop. Worst Pokemon character ever. Ah. All right. Here's your code. One, two, three, four. Full T guys. You see what they did there, Kevin? You know for multi hop? Oh, probably. I think it's a common card. The diamond shape. Maybe not common, but you know what I mean. Uh, Fire Energy. Doug Trio. Pokemon Center Lady. Is her name Nurse Joy? Energy Retrieval. Yamper. Krabby. Uncommon. There we go. That's what I was trying to think of. Q Fant. Ball Toy. Uh, Salandit. 
Oh, uh, is this rever reverse hollow Cinderace? And a Raichu. Ooh. I like that Cinderace card. That's cool. I like that one. Circle common, diamond uncommon, and star rare. Right, right. That's what it is. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Come on. Ignal, this is the last of the sword and shield. And then we have two darkness ablaze. Man, I don't think we're getting a shiny from the sword and shield. Sad face. One, two, three, four. Uh, Psychic Energy. Pokemon Catcher. Haunter. Fertility Band. Nicket. Ball Toy. Chin Chow. Krabby. Mincino. Captain Mincino shows no mercy. Ordinary Rod, Reverse Hollow, and a Feeble. Not the best cards we have pulled today, but hey, they all can't be winners, right? All right, where's more? There we go. All right, all right, all right. That's uh, do, 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 do. Where's this go? Oh, I have it backwards. That's why. Perfect. All right. Two darkness ablaze. Dun da da da. Uh, let's do Charizard last. And by last, I mean second. Oh, this is the one we caught yesterday. Remember I said it was the guy with like the big body and small head that reminded me of the Goomba from the Mario Brothers movie? Same dude. Camera, sell down, I saw that. All right. Code for Darkness Ablaze. One, two, three, and four. Boom. Psychic energy. Clang. Dartrix. Uh, Dideni? Hopefully. Diglett. Squovit. Shelmet. Panpour. Teddy Ursa. Reverse Hollow Gothita. And a Galarian Darmanitan. What is that? I have never seen that Pokemon before. That is definitely new to me. Definitely don't know that one. All right. I was laying on that one. You can do it for this one. Let's see. This is the second Darkness Ablaze. Mm, do, do, do. Uh, your Darkness Ablaze code. One, two, three, four. Water Energy. Uh, Corvusquire. That's a hiding energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon provides energy, the Pokemon uses this card attached has no retreat cost. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Fletchinder. Fletching. Wimpod. Grimer. Clink. Ducklet. Reverse Hollow Granbull. And a Galarian Darmanitan. 
He reminds me of the, um, like the snowman from the old Rudolph, like the clay. I don't know if it was claymation, but the old Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer Christmas special. I used to watch as a kid. All right, chat. Let me get these put away. And now it's time. It's time. Three hours in the making. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think what we need to do, we need to put the Charizard ones aside for last because they're going to each have their own holographic Charizard in them. So let's put those there. And then we got what? Raichu, Venusaur. All right. So we're going to go right to left. No, I changed my mind. I was going to do right to left because I was going to, I was going to go one, two, two, and three, but I think we should open the three starters uh, together. So we'll do the two Raichu ones first. So these are the ones I've been most excited for because they're reprints of the set that I used to collect 20 years ago. So this is like super exciting for me. I hope it's four. All right, there is your evolutions code. Oh, this is four. One, two, three, and four. Boom. Did I do it right? Oh, Radic. Oh my God. I remember this card. Ah, Radicate. Uh, let me move these over. Radicate. Charmeleon. Oh my God. All this old print. Is it three for these? Oh shit. Um, Okay, well, this one will just be fucked up then. Super Potion, Slowbo Spirit Link, uh, Diglett, Seal, another super common card, N Nidoran, Ponyta, Doduo. Wait, was there no rare card in this? Oh, wait. Oh, it was the Radicate. Oh, Radicate was rare back then. Right. So it's three. Okay, I fucked up and the rare card was first. I just didn't realize it. Okay. So it's three cards. So Radicate was the rare one. But we got a reverse hollow seal as well. All right. That was the card to make the mistake with. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, Okay. Radicate was rare. Well, you got to remember there was only 151 Pokemon back then. So something had to be rare. There wasn't 12 trillion like there is now. Ah, stuck. There is your evolutions code. One, two, three to the front. Magmar energy retrieval Blastoise. This is a new one, I think. Yeah, Blastoise X. Yeah, because that was definitely not a thing back then. Uh, Nidoran, Vulpix, the energy Magikarp, probably the strongest Pokemon in the history of Pokemans. A Weedle, a reverse hollow Starmie. And then a regular star me. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Blastoise. Chat, I think we need some spam. I think before we even start opening these final uh, six, I think we need some shiny spam. These are our last ones. These ones have been waiting for. We need to feel the energy. We need to find holographic Charizard once again.
Ah. Open. All right. Boom. Evolution. Yo, Flares, thank you for the 10 bits. One, two, and three. Charmeleon, my friend. Venusaur Spirit Link. Energy Retrieval. Nidoran. Ponyta. Drowsy. Electabuzz. Volpix. Reverse Hollow Switch Trainer. And a far fetched. Far fetched. Far fetched. Far fetched. Far fetched. Mm. Uh oh, I'm getting worried. We keep getting all green. One, two, three. Machoke! Potion. Maintenance. He's a rare. That seems a bit far fetched. <laughs> Diglett. Ghastly. Caterpie. See, I told you this drowsy shows up all the time. Like, this was classic. Magikarp. What a legend. Reverse Hollow Radicate and a Dugong. Dugong Gong. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Four packs left. Four packs left. Let's keep it alive, chat. What are you going to do with all these cards? What are you going to do with all those cards? All those cards inside that binder. There's a coat. Who knows, Metamorph? Probably take over the world. Oh, uh, Haunter. Oh, we had a Ghastly earlier. Flying Pikachu. That's a that's a chubby little Pikachu, and I like it. Coffee. Classic Pikachu. Mm-hmm. Machop. Remember this card? Weedle again. Doduo. A star you. A Pidgeot Spirit Link. Interesting. Okay. And a B Drill non holographic. Chat, where are we going to pull out here? When are we going to pull out? We got three of the evolutions left. When are we going to pull out the holographic classic Pokemon? Ah. It will pull out a holographic um, Mewtwo. Boom, boom, boom. There was your code. One, two, three. Oregon. Misty's Determination. Surfing Pikachu. Electabuzz. Drowsy again. Star you again. Energy again. Goral, I think it's again. Reverse. Hollow Voltorb and a Dugong. Do we, yeah, we just got Dugong. We're getting a repeat. We don't have time for repeats. There's only two packs left. Chat. You let me know. Do I open the one on the left first? Or do I open the one on the right first? These are the final two. I've got two for right, three for right, two for left, and a yes. 
like how some of these cards numbers i switched it back don't worry i was paying attention to what i was doing burn them both i'm gonna open the left one first There's your code. One, two, and three. Brock's Grit. Slowbo Spirit Link. Kakuna. Vulpix. San Shrew. Ponyta. Magnemite. Pikachu. Reverse Hollow Machop. And another B drill. No. No. So many duplicates. All right, chat. It's time for the spam. This is pack number 50. Thank you so much for everyone who is uh, hanging out today or if you're watching this on YouTube later. What an absolute joy this has been. Like, so, so fun. Ah. Chat. Spam that cheer to make a shiny appear. This is it. This is the final one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. One, two, three. I'm going to do this slow so I don't accidentally mess it up. Revive. Haunter. Brock's Grit. Tangela. Hollywag. Seal. Magikarp. Energy. Reverse Hollow Radicate. And. Yo! An M Venus Store X. Look at that card! Whoa! That is a nut. Where's the sleeves? One hundred out of one hundred eight. So I should probably just burn a GTA. Started strong, ended strong. Look at that. Boom. All right, hold on. Let me sort these out here. I'll change the focus of the camera here so we can see it, but just let me get them all in place. Um, oh my God, I need to go out and buy more. I need to go buy more chat of the addiction. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. There we go. This is... Okay. I think that's probably that's about as focused as it's gonna get here let me hide my webcam so you can see this for a sec oh i don't have it on this one here uh boom there you go
the hunt for the Charizard continues, but yo, what a final card to pull. What an absolutely fun stream to do. God, I want to do this all the time. What a great set. Like, I don't know if they're like super like rare or anything, but like these are really cool cards. I'm happy with them. Really happy with them. Damn, damn, damn. Sergeant Fidget has the bug. Don't worry, I won't. I won't, I won't. Wow, so thank you to everyone who was hanging out for this video, rather here on Twitch. If you don't know me, I stream on Twitch five days a week, Wednesday through Sunday, usually start around 12 to one Pacific variety stream. Do a lot of like dead by day. We've been doing some Pokemon stuff, hunting a shiny Mewtwo. I'll be doing cyberpunk and all that as well. Hence why I'm building the new computer. If you are interested in seeing more of these Pokemon card openings, please let me know like in the comments below. I can tell from Twitch chat already. They want to see more of it. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more of these because this was very, very fun. Thank you so much for watching my Twitter, Twitch will all be linked in the description down below. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Have yourselves a wonderful day.